Hi, I am Limitless members. I'm Darian. I teach kettlebells at I Am Limitless. I have a really awesome kettlebell bodyweight workout for you today. So I'm going to give you seven movements and you're going to go through each one 10 times, followed by nine times, followed by eight times, all the way until you get to each movement one single time. So it's going to be really fun and really tough. I'm going to give you some modifications in case you don't have a kettlebell at home. And um, let's do it. Let's warm We're up. We're going to warm up with 20 hip bridges, 15 plank jacks, and then 10 walkouts. on the workout. So move one is an American kettlebell swing. That means we're going to swing the kettlebell all the way overhead. Here's what it looks like. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your spine neutral, pushing your hips back, just a minimal bend in the knee, and at the top of the movement, everything is in one straight line. don't have a kettlebell to use, you can also use a backpack. So go ahead and load it up with some books or just anything you have lying around the house. And then you can grab the handle, but you'll also want to grab the top of the backpack just so it's not flopping around so much. And I would suggest doing a Russian swing, so just to eye level. If you don't have your standard push-ups, you can of course go down to knees. Just make sure you're still in a plank position.
Move three is a goblet squat. So you'll hold your kettlebell by the horns, elbows tucked in, chest nice and tall. You want to imagine that your chest or your kettlebell is what's leading you out of this squat. Move four is a sit-up. Move five and six um, are single leg deadlifts. So you're going to do all the reps on one side, all the reps on the other side. I find that if I hold the kettlebell in the same arm as the leg I'm standing on, I feel more balanced. But you could absolutely hold it in the opposite if that works better for you. So make sure you're keeping your spine neutral and think about pushing your hips back. is a dip so if you have an ottoman or a stool or even a sturdy chair or the edge of your couch you'll put your palms on the edge you can either keep your legs straight to make it a little more challenging or bent just make sure that when you lower down you're keeping your hips close to the bench or chair whatever you're using Thank you all so much for joining in on that workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think in the comments. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> so remember, you're gonna go through each of those movements 10 times, 10 times each, followed by nine times each, eight times each, all the way down to one.